Today I'm gonna to try my hand at some Valentine cards using my Cricut Maker. I'm excited about this one because if it works out and it does well, I'm gonna put them on my main YouTube channel in a Valentine's DIY video. So we're gonna see if we can do it and this is my first Valentine card project. So first things first, I have to find the project in Design Space. So I'm gonna share my screen with you so that you can follow along on how I actually did this. It is an image that you have to pay for unless you have Cricut Design Access, which is what I actually bought. So I have free images to use. And so um, that's what kind of inspired me to do this project is because it was already kind of made and designed for me. So within the Design Space, I'm going to go to my project section, and this is where all the Cricut projects are located. If you pay for it access, you can also see some free ones in here too. And in here, I'm going to put in Valentine card. See what pops up. We got lots of options here, so I might try some of these other ones too, because they look really fun. But the one I wanted to try are these little crayon ones. Where are we, where are we? Aha, right here, Valentine coloring cards with crayons. And all I need to do is click make it and it's gonna load the project for me. It directly takes me to the printing thing. So if I wanted to print them right away, I can go ahead and print them. There's four different cards. Oh no, there's three different cards. I can change them or alter them if I want, if I wanna change the fonts. I'm gonna keep them as is. And so it tells me that they are draw and cut. Over here you can see draw and cut. So it's gonna be using the pen and the blade. So I'm gonna click continue to get started. I love how simple they make this seem. So hopefully it's gonna be that simple. So for this one, we're gonna need a couple materials. We're gonna need a pen. Actually, I think it requires two different colored pens. It gives you some suggestions, but honestly, you could probably use what you want. We're gonna need the mat and we're gonna need some cardstock. I found this cardstock at Michael's. I got a super good deal on it. It's not like the best wonderful cardstock in the world, but it had a couple of like cream colors in here. And so instead of doing like a white card, I thought I was gonna do a cream colored one. So I'm gonna use the cream one. I'm only gonna need two sheets of this. You could use any color you want. So immediately it takes me to do the paper. I'm looking on the package here. It says that this is 65 pounds. And so I don't see a 65 pound option. So I'm gonna just choose um, light card stock for this one. Next it says to load armadillo pen into clamp A. I don't have armadillo pen. I, uh, can I do this project? Yes, you can. So I'm just gonna pick another color. I'm just gonna pick black. <laughs> I'm gonna put it like this and put the cap on the top so that I don't lose it. I'm gonna put it inside my maker. So the pins go in this one here and you go until you hear it like kind of click in and then you close it back and shut it. And it's saying to load my mat so I know that I'm going to use I'm gonna use my blue mat for this one and I'm gonna put my piece of paper up in the top corner. I just lined it up in the, with the edges. And so then we slide it under our guides, which are the little guides on the side here. And then we click our little arrow that's kind of blinking at us to load our mat. And then when that's done, I hit the C that's flashing at me and it should start. So we're doing a print and cut, so it's gonna do the drawing first and then it's gonna do the cut part. Now it says that we need to load another pen. I don't have this color either, but I'm going to use a one that's close, which is a blue. I'm gonna put the blue in. And then I click the C button. All right, and there are our first ones. So we have to peel them off. There are our first Valentines. And the little flaps fold up so you can insert the crayons right through them. 